Hey guys, it's me again. We're going to be doing a little series today. I'm going to be doing this over quite a bit. I'm going to be doing spotlights of good items, good combination of items, and good ways to beat bosses and such. Um, the thing is, I will only be doing bosses I've beat. I will only be, uh, fights, and I will only be, uh, doing, going over items I've gotten. I'm using a little cheat mod here just to make things go faster so I can spawn things in. See, I don't want to have to find all these things. So, um, so don't expect to be seeing, uh, like hollowed things because I have not made hollowed items and I don't really plan on making hollowed items because I already have, uh, Spectre items. So, I've got the same, uh, layout. Here as I do, except for the Vandy items. I've got Arcane on everything, so I'm mainly a magic user. You might call that dumb. Uh, I, I don't. Uh, so I'm going to be doing the Magnet Sphere and the uh, Spectre Armor combination because it is an amazing combination. Uh, so I was trying to get a Shadow Beam Staff, another really good weapon. I'll do a video on that eventually. And I was actually playing over today and uh, last night for hours like I don't know but today I've played uh, eight hours about today yeah you wanna know why I played eight hours to get a shadow beam staff I got a bunch of the shadow beam staff I'm just stalling so I find the jungle honestly Shadow Bean staff has about a 3.33% chance of dropping. You know, I can live with that. It's a good weapon, it should be rare. The Magnet Sphere has about a 0.25 chance of dropping. I got two or three of those uh, in less than eight hours. Uh, I got enough ectoplasm to make a full set of Spectre Armor, and I got, like, God knows how many. Uh, armor polish, which are a 1% chance of dropping. It, it's, I've been, probably been playing like 12 hours over the past two days trying to get uh, a Shadow Beam Staff on my main world. Yeah. So. But today we're going to be um, this uh, combination is really amazing. I don't know why I'm going to a jungle. Oh, I do know why I'm going to a jungle. I don't know why I'm going to a jungle first, honestly. Because I was able, with this combination, to, on my first try, beat Plantera, and on my first try, beat Skeletron Prime. Technically, on my first try, beat Skeletron Prime, I should say. Uh, he spawned once, and I just let him kill me since I wasn't prepared. The first time I actually tried to kill him, I got it. I can't say that with any of the other bosses. I haven't tried any of the other bosses other than those, because I'm pretty sure I can't- oh, wrong thing. I don't think I can spawn in any of the other bosses, so... Uh, I'm pretty- I don't think I can fight any of the other bosses in my world. Why am I not- oh, it's some silence. There we go. I would like to- uh, spawn Skeletron Prime, please. So I'm pretty sure I can do that with this menu, so. Uh, 1.1. Whoa. I can spawn specific parts of Wavering. Yes, Skeletron Prime. Why is it not night anymore? There we go. This is just an amazing combination. Because you can just. I uh, just, uh, just fly and stuff and shoot. You barely have to do anything. Now you should have a mana flower and uh, mana potions. I do not, because I forgot to spawn them in and I didn't feel like, I didn't feel like looking for anything. But. Uh, especially if you have mythical on it, which I have on mine, in 
my world, it is just amazing. It just attacks automatically. Skeleton Prime is considered one of the hardest bosses in the game. Rightfully so, he looks pretty difficult. I beat him on my first try. I'm pretty sure Plantera is considered difficult, I'm not really sure. I don't know much about her, but beat her on my first try. I actually lost on my second try, so I think I was just because I was in a much smaller space on the try, though. Yeah, but you just got it. When you're going up, aim up. And then when you're going down, aim down. Because it just automatically heals you. This is how I first beat the twins as well. Because I never was able to beat the twins. I'm bad at it. I was bad. Or I was bad at it. Until I beat the destroyer and got a mega shark. And I almost beat the twins. And I lost. So then I just got this and beat the twins with it. Look how easy this is. It just attacks everything. It's amazing. And you get health because of the armor, and you also get mana because of the armor, and since I have all arcane things, I get even more mana. If you have like a mega shark, which I have in my inventory, I just don't have any ammo for it. Once it's just the head, all you have to do is attack the head. I just defeated Skeletron Prime. Very quickly. I'm gonna actually use my Wisp in the Bottle I spawned in just so I can see. I'll do a video on that later because Wisp in the Bottle is awesome. It's gonna, just gonna spawn in some mana potions. Actually. So I just a coin thing. Well, let's. Okay, that's just buffs. So can I spawn in... I think... I'm getting used to this new mod, I've just downloaded it. Can I spawn in Plantera? No, I can't, I have to be in the jungle. Oh yes I can! This is how you beat Plantera! Now granted, she doesn't have any place to grasp onto really, so it's even easier. But seriously, it's just this easy. You can beat any boss doing this if you are prepared. And you don't look out the window like I constantly do. And if she drops a pygmy staff, you can beat even more in these with that, if you use that and this together. It helps if you also have healing potions, because this won't completely sustain your health, usually. I'd probably be dead if I were actually in the jungle, in the underground jungle, and broke her bulb, because she can then climb. Yeah, you need a fair amount of space for this. Honestly, so you can dodge around if you need to. But, it's just such an amazing combination. Uh, the Paladins in the hard mode dungeon, they're very difficult. This makes them easy. I'm just gonna s stand here. Okay, I'm not just gonna stand there. I lie. I will die. Are you seeing the devastation here? Uh, oh, I got the tr a Plantera trophy. That's actually really lucky. That's a small, that's a very small drop. Chance of a drop is like 10%. But just look how fast this kills everything.
It's just amazing. And it just regens your health so quickly. If I can find the dungeon. Actually, I'll just spawn in a paladin. I can do that. God. The paladin's hammers do like nearly a hundred damage. I can find the paladin. Yeah, uh, f at least for a while I won't be doing things on Queen B. Just because. But the Queen B, or I don't think you can get the, um, Golem. Without the. Without. Uh, being in a world that spawns him, so... Okay, those hammers... Let's... I'm gonna let him hit me with one. Okay, that was like 90-something damage. That's all you have to do. If you have the Shadow Beam staff, it becomes even easier. You just launch this and then Shadow Beam him to death. And this will just deal so much damage. You see that? Yeah, you saw it. I've been me again, you guys have been awesome, and I will see you guys next time. Like, favorite, tell your friends, do whatever you want, I don't care. Dislike the video if you want to, doesn't really affect me that much. Or it does, I don't really care what you do. See your life, not mine. Um, I'm actually going to pause and then I'm going to meet you because I want to do one more thing just to show you how amazing this is. So I'll be right back, guys. Okay, guys, here I am in the underworld. No prior preparation. Um, I just want to find a guide, voodoo doll, and I will show you how easy. It is to beat the wall of flesh. So I have no prior preparation. Defend myself. I need to find the guide voodoo doll. It's going to be back a bit, I think. Die. There it is. Just gonna grab it. Throw it in. Or apparently not throw it in. Grab it. Throw it in. Look how fast it's just eating the hungry. Oh no, I've accidentally opened my start menu. The only, the only downside to this um, weapon is it can't, can't fire through walls. Which is fair. It's balancing. That took me probably a minute, I would say, I'm not sure. Without preparation, in my normal world, uh, I'd like to use my Drax for this, honestly. Okay, apparently I, I don't want to use my Drax. Now I want to use my Drax. In my normal world, it I have uh, a very long area to where I fight the twin swell, because it's convenient for that. It takes me about 30 seconds to beat the Wall of Flesh. So, uh, it's a very good thing. Oh, I didn't know you get held bar. Oh, no, it's because I beat the... Uh, thing. What did I get from him? One hammer, uh, ranger emblem, ew. So, 
Uh, I have actually now been me again. You guys have actually now been awesome. You guys can now actually like, favor, do whatever you want. I don't care. Tell your friends. Uh, I would like it if, if you would please, uh, if you want, suggest things. If not, I'll just do find things to do. Uh, if I haven't, if I have not got the item, or I haven't tested something, or I haven't beat a boss or something, like I, because I can't yet, or I haven't done it yet, uh, I won't do a video on it. I will try and get to the point where I can do that video as soon as possible, but, uh, for now, thanks for watching. Uh, I will see you guys next time, and goodbye.